Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. Today we're looking at the week of February the 19th to the 25th, which is the third, uh, third week of February. And before we go into, into the individual star signs, we are going into the um, overall energy for the week ahead. And we're starting this right now. We have actually moved into the star sign of Pisces now. So our individual star signs will begin with Pisces today. But before we go into the star signs, we'll have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. Last week's energy was actually quite high because it was the Valentine's week and we had um, a great uh, um, asteroids joining the new moon and all that kind of stuff. So that was really, really cool. Um, but um, moving swiftly on now to this week. This week it's important to not do things too rushed. It's also important to, no matter what you do, Act with grace. Really, really important that you are in your strengths um, and that you act accordingly. Um, so how you carry yourself this week is really, really important. In other words, don't let people weigh you down. Don't let people um, talk over you, walk all over you. You may feel small, somewhat small this week, but um, you are stronger than you feel. So the main message uh, for, for all of us uh, this week is to um, remember our strengths and act gracefully uh, because this is how you ultimately claim your uh, um, respect and claim that people talk to you the way you talk to them, which is with kindness and with respect. And that's the main message we have uh, overall for this week. And now we're having a look at the individual star signs, starting with Pisces. For Pisces this week, it's really, really important to start decluttering our minds. And I say our because I'm a Pisces. So the idea is to declutter our minds and store, store only what serves us. So again, it's one of those things, one of those weeks where the more we are um, living magically, and uh, uh, follow the mystery that is our spiritual growth. The more spiritual your outlook is this week, the more you find your true self in it, if that makes sense. Um, but this is also a week of, of letting stuff go that doesn't serve you anymore. Um, remember, they're not asking you to have arguments with people, they're not asking you to let people go, they're not asking you to make decisions as such. They're just asking you to begin to declutter your mind and, and realize what you allow people to do that maybe doesn't serve you, if that makes sense. Um, so don't rush anything, don't be um, uh, you know, forceful in your relationships. Um, just declutter your mind and make space for things that fulfill you, if that makes sense. Right? Short and sweet for Pisces. Going into Aries now. I can already see a little pattern forming here because Aries' message is to, um, in a way, uh, shed your skin, be renewed, be transformed, 
and uh, manifest your dreams. So it is, in a way, just like it was with the Pisces, uh, um, about looking at your true spiritual essence and, um, and then change and really be who you truly are um, in this world where oftentimes people are very discouraged to be who they truly are. So this is a week to uh, allow yourself to be renewed and transformed. It will also be a great week, and identity speaking, um, for Aries to probably be on a retreat, be somewhere in nature, be away from stuff so you can allow yourself to shed your skin fully. And also a very good week, week to manifest your dreams. You could write down um, what you feel you desire. The way I always do that is rather than writing, oh, I would like to have A, B and C, I write down, if I know what I want, if that makes sense, as if it had already happened. So you could write things down like, oh, thank you so much for the new job what a blessing this is. Thank you so much for the new house, it's so beautiful. You know, think as if it had already happened. So you express gratitude in your uh, um, manifestation journals rather than uh, asking for it, if that makes sense. So that's really important for Aries this week. Uh, uh, first and foremost, manifest your dreams and find the space to shed your skin and be renewed and transformed. Okie doke. Moving into Taurus, and I'm drawn to the other deck. Yeah, it's definitely a week of reflection and deep thought for all of us because Taurus have the hawk and the coyote. And what is important to, to remember here is that the hawk uses the upthrust of the air to glide. So this week, pace yourself right. Um, don't give in to stress. Don't give in to these demands that people have on you when they chase you during the day to do certain things. It's really important to not be rushed this week and whatever life throws at Tauruses this week, it's important to remember that there will always be enough for you to go around. You will always be sustained. Um, so don't hold on to uh, situations that you feel are no longer good for you. And um, I'll just make this up as a picture so you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, if you are going to work Monday to Friday and you're really not happy there, then you got your answer. So don't hold on to it. Instead, write in your, in, your, in your dream journal or in your manifestation journal, thank you for the new job, can't believe how awesome it is, and um, get the heck out of there, if that makes sense, right? Because remember, if you endure, your energy goes lower, and it's very difficult to um, manifest when your energy is low. So don't settle for less. Don't... Um, Put up with stuff that you know does not fulfill you. Okie dokie, that was Taurus. Going into Gemini. Just want a little flip. Going into Gemini. Card falls out. Wants to be red. Very interesting, you have the goat and the frog. And this is about creating energy, actually. What um, the, the, the guides are asking you to really do this week, um, even though it is a reflective week, and every time there is a reflective week, it means that the energy is not quite as high, um, let's just say as it was uh, 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 last week, when everything was sort of love themed, if that makes sense. Um, but they're asking you to create joy in your life this week. Be lighthearted and um, look at all the nice things um, that you have that fulfill your life. Good friends, good partners, for instance, you know, um, all these kind of things. Um, look at them and acknowledge what you got 
and then just keep going. That's the other thing uh, uh, for Gemini. You just have to keep going. Whether or not you feel your life goes up or down, if that makes sense. This week, you have to keep going and um, be lighthearted about things. And first and foremost, create, create joy. Because with joy, you can override a lot of that stuff that actually bothers you in life. And when you realize that, that you are creating joy, you no longer put up with stuff that is ultimately not for you. So you can see here, that was Gemini, so you, so you can see here that there's already a little pattern emerging um, about um, being reflective, uh, but carry yourself in, in, a, in a way that people know uh, how you truly feel, if that makes sense. Going into Cancerians now. Cancer. Cancerians are asked this week to heal from stuff that hasn't uh, quite worked for you in life and um, come back into your power and in a way begin exploring life anew. It's quite important. So again, it's a week of reflection for the Cancerians. Um, but it is important for uh, all you Cancerians out there to not be... Um, frustrated about stuff uh, because frustration is not a great energy to have it it, it, it gets you down it, it keeps you semi-depressed um, so none of this is good because you have the eagle and the puma um, you can adapt very well and um, you are quite powerful so there's really not all that much you have to sort of worry about when you speak your truth this week um, because speaking your truth is the beginning uh, of changes for the better. Okie dokie, that was Cancerians. Going into Leo now. And like I said, this is the week of February the 19th to the 25th. I'm actually thinking of opening the play field so to speak and ask other readers every now and then to join me and do joint readings for you um, I thought it would be a good idea to bring people in every now and then um, get you a little bit more I thought right okie doke we're with Leo now and you have the llama and the hedgehog and it's important for Leos to realize um, that when you are low in energy, when you are semi-aggressive, when you are fed up with the world, you actually keep people at bay, which is obviously your intention when you kind of tell them to you know, make, you know, leave you alone kind of thing. But um, this week it would be important to show your softer side as you also may keep people away that are just here um, to help you and that want to um, like and love you the way you truly are. And so the other thing that you, that you can do is just take a deep breath every now and then and breathe with the, with the highs and the lows of the week ahead. Um, and just remember, you will get through it no matter what. But if you are in defensive mode, if you are in the mode of saying, just leave me alone, if you are fed up, um, not much help can come to you. It would be better actually for Leos if you feel um, really low in energy to possibly take a few days off, um, do uh, meditation and journeys and just, you know, gather some strengths rather than um, sending out that signal that you don't want to be bothered, especially when you are working with other people. Um, because even if you had reason uh, for telling them off, it just doesn't help the, the working environment um, and that actually includes relationships that, that you have um, right so if you feel you need to retreat this week uh, by all means do that um, but uh, be in your softer side so that let, let people know for instance how you feel so that they um, don't feel rejected by you when you just um, you know 
uh, get out for a couple of days, if that makes sense, right? So that was Leo. And now we're going into Virgo. For Virgo, it's important, uh, for Virgos, this, this week is important to um, step out of the darkness, so to speak, and step back into the light. Show yourself. Be your true self. Um, and when you come back, so to speak, uh, from um, <laughs> hibernation almost, where you felt, you know, um, just didn't feel it, kind of thing, and I don't want to really, want anything to do with 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 with, with people and the, and the likes. Um, it's time that you that you join uh, the rest of the world again, um, but but do it with 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 strength. And uh, above all things, for uh, Virgos this week is you need to be gentle um, with yourself first and foremost, and with others, so that they can all adapt and you can adapt to this new you, where you decide, I'm done hiding, and I will speak my truth, right? So um, if you are a person that feels, I need to speak my truth here, I need to make space, that's fair enough, and it's always encouraged by the guides anyway, to um, make yourself heard. But you have to do this gently. The moment you do this in an angry tone, the moment you do this because you're fed up with the world, people will misunderstand you. And um, the whole thing about saying something will therefore uh, um, will be misheard and, and misunderstood. So uh, allow yourself to, um, in a way, s snap out of it, step out of the darkness and back into the light um, and, and speak your truth um, with kindness. Okie dokie, that was Virgo. Going into Libra. Again, the theme of reflection is back, so to speak, because Libras, um, a lot of stuff from the past will come up this week, but only to remind you that you're ready for a new beginning. Um, 2018 just so happens to be the year of karmic ending, so endings are quite common this year. It's just because we have such a high energy um, in 2018, much higher than we had in 2017, uh, letting things go um, will be much easier um, than it was in 2017 when you are um, having new beginnings and you move on from stuff. Uh, unlike last year, um, you will not fall apart. You will just realize that it is time to, to move on. And yes, there will be pain um, and tears are sacred medicine. But the point the guides are making is you will be fine, you are absolutely ready uh, for a new beginning, but you have to look at your past as well this week and, and then let stuff go, okay? So reflective mode, being in, being in, in reflective mode and, and, and looking at life and reflect on life and see what works and what doesn't work is really the theme, the overall theme uh, for many star signs this week. Moving into Scorpio, Scorpios are in a way quite protected this week. What you are being asked today or, or this week is to monitor your energy. Um, pace yourself right, don't be in stress, um, be calm all throughout the week and um, you have all your, your, your uh, spirit guides right beside you. So this is going to be a week for you Scorpios um, where, where um, you can 
put another gear in to your uh, uh, drive of life, so to speak, and uh, make changes that will lead you to a new beginning. Um, but you have to do it with clarity and with calmness um, and just realize that you're not alone in this. You are fully protected right now, so uh, um, it's going to be uh, safe, uh, so to speak, to speak up this week. But you have to be calm at all times and monitor your energy, which also means if, if there are people around you that, are, um, that, that know how to upset you, they will keep on coming this week. And that's why you have to monitor your energy. How much are you affected by what they're saying and how much are you affected by what, they're, what, what they are doing? Um, this kind of thing. And if you feel that you are overly affected or very much uh, affected by, by their actions or their words, then it is time to let them go. Right? So that was Scorpio moving into Sagittarius. You probably have noticed already that even though this is a reflective week and the energy is not as high as it was last week, it's not a low energy week at all. But because it is a, a week of um, reflecting on life, um, you will need to be uh, in your thoughts and with your thoughts and in your truth and therefore uh, you will be more quiet uh, if that makes sense um, than you usually are um, but it is a it is a good thing because you know being reflective um, and then do something about whatever the issues are is really really important okay moving into Sagittarius now um, you have the butterfly and the turtle and uh, so you too are um, ready for a new beginning but in order for you to really have a new beginning you have to come out of your shell and what that means is if you just try to move on from one thing to the next you would manifest the same stuff because you haven't learned your lesson so if you let stuff go you need to realize what you no longer need or want and what doesn't serve you and then internalize this and say to yourself I get it now I deserve better, I deserve more, and then move on that way. But you have to come out of your shell, you have to be able to be seen. Um, so this is just a week where, where you can't really hide, and shouldn't really hide. And um, being in the background at all times is ultimately self-defeating. Um, and what the guides are saying to you is, you're ready for a new beginning, so therefore you will be supported, right? Um, it's just important when you come out of your shell, which means you are a little bit more eager to have a good life. A good life can follow you. Okie dokie, that was Sagittarius. Moving into our uh, last two star signs for the week, namely Capricorn and Aquarius. Going into Capricorn now. For Capricorns this week, again, reflection is, is the theme. But what is important this week is to not be bothered uh, by other people's opinions uh, about you. You are perfect just the way you are. And you need to realize that this week, that you're perfect just the way you are. If anyone thinks you should change, maybe that's just a reflection. Maybe they see something in you they don't, li they, they don't like about themselves. Right? So if you're, if you're not good enough for, for anybody, don't be with them. Right? Um, so that's important. Remember that you, that you are perfect the way you are. And, and I mentioned this, made this, just made this about relationship, if that makes sense. Right? Um, if you're not good enough there to not be there. Because the other part of your message is to run free. So maybe it is time to start over um, with all that entails, if that makes sense. Um, and to not look back. Um, but the, one of the important things this week for Capricorn is to look at your self-esteem and see if there is any damage, any pain that has come to you that make you feel less appreciated, less love, all these kind of things. Because um, it is one of the mantras this week. I am perfect just the way I am. I am perfect just the way I am. So say this to yourself. Allow yourself to hear these words, feel these words, um, internalize them, and then with this newfound strength, you move on, right? Speaking of moving on, moving on to the last star sign of the week, which is uh, Aquarius. 
Let's have a look at Aquarius. And we're looking at the week February 19th to 25th. Which means that in the coming week we have a new uh, uh, full moon, the first of two in March. So um, we can expect a completely different energy uh, next week than we have this week. Uh, just to recap, this is not a week where the energy is super low. It's just an energy uh, week or, or, or week where the energy is not super high. And what they're asking you is to, um, or all of us really, is to be in, in reflective mode and think and look at your life. And it's oftentimes easier when you look at life quietly. Okie dokie, and just really feel what's going on. So Aquarius is quite interesting. You are, um, there's a jaguar and a rabbit, which means you're quite unique. It's important to uh, remember that there may be a reason why you never fit in with the crowd, um, if that makes sense, because you are quite unique. And your true friends um, like you and like that about you, that you are a little bit quirky, um, but that you are, in, in fact, uh, different. And um, so there's nothing wrong with you, if that makes sense, right? You just don't play these normal games, uh, uh, that, that people play these, 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 these games. You're, you're a person that is quite unique. And um, because you have the Jaguar, which also uh, stands uh, for wholeness and for rebirth, <coughs> you can always start over. And uh, you also have the rabbit. And so the main message is to, to realize that... Um, when you start over, you really have no idea how deep the rabbit hole goes. So follow your intuition, start over, begin to live anew and see where it takes you, right? And that's all we got time for. See you all next week. See you then. Bye-bye.